perhaps foolish attempt to be more productive, Emily and I are going to try to find an office today. The goal is to use a library because libraries are free. We thought about going to a coffee shop, but then you have to buy something at the coffee shop and you always kind of feel awkward if you're there for too long. Plus, it's still kind of weird to go into coffee shops because some are open, some are closed. And for me, I need a quiet space. If there is noise, I will definitely be distracted by it. If I hear people talking, I'll be so interested in their conversations. I won't do my own work. So we're gonna try the library and see how it works. It's a bit of a drive because the closest library that's like nice is in Noblesville, but hopefully it will be, it will be a success. Do you think it'll be a success, Emily? I hope so. I think you can go in there and work. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Almost you positive. Google it. Probably. We'll see. So Emily doesn't think there will be anywhere to sit inside of this library? I don't know. Let's just keep... That's like what the, um... Like the website, the website. seems like. So. so this may be a failure. Which sucks, because we drove all the way over here. But we can still go to Noble Tea. Oh, God, I love Noble Tea. Yeah, which is... Fine, I guess. You don't even have to get anything. I'll get something. No, yeah, but I, yeah, I can. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just another disappointment that it's my life. I was right. Well, there were places to sit in there. There were places to sit. But they were, like, not study rooms. No, I was hoping for a study room. Yeah. Especially if you had to, like, do, like, talking and stuff. <sighs> yeah. So Emily thought it was too quiet in there. It was really quiet. It's a library. I can't work in a quiet environment. I like the hustle and bustle. I can't work in a loud environment. <laughs> I like going to coffee shops to do work. I know you do love. That's where we're going. Emily's plan all along. Yes. <sighs> I'll make you lunch. I don't have time to eat lunch. Mm. Because it was going to be pretty good. What was it going to be? I don't know. Mm. Well, off to Noble Tea. Well, Emily? I only got one thing done. So I feel like I was just as productive here as it was at home. Mm. So you're saying it's more of a you problem. Yeah. Mm. I think it's my, uh, what do you call it, senioritis? <laughs> Six years is a long time to be in college. It is. I'm over it. Over it. Over it. Over it.com. Mm. The Wi Fi was fast, though. It was. Although there were a lot of teenagers. I know. That was, I think that was the one thing is that they were really loud. Teenagers, they're the worst. So now home? Now home. What am I going to do the rest of the day? Yeah. Oh. Homework. Mm. Maybe I'll do like one assignment a day. Oh, one assignment a day. There so we go. I'll do my next assignment. Oh, okay. Oh, there's snow on the car. <laughs> Wait. Oh, all of it melted and... Oh, and then... That's thing. But look how clean the car is. It's like we got a car wash. How fancy. So, I typically have class, well, now, usually at one o'clock. It's three times a week. It's one of my favorite classes. It's this really old professor, and he's just hilarious person and we just talk for 50 minutes about plays. It's honestly a good time and one of my favorite classes. But coming into today before class started today, he sent us an email and said there were no reports to do today. And basically all we've done for the last week, two weeks is give like reports. Now me and my partner, we actually went first. So we did ours like two weeks ago. So going to class honestly was kind of optional, but I always, I, I like Dr. Walsh. She's a great professor and he's retiring this year. So I feel like I, I need to go to his class. But coming in today, he said there are no reports today. So I didn't know what we were gonna do. He didn't really say what we were going to do, but I jumped onto the Zoom call like everyone else. I'm sitting around, a person shows up, another person shows up. At one point, there's about five of us. No one says anything, a couple minutes go by and people start dropping off one after another, after another, after another. And eventually it's just me. And I've been sitting around for like 10 minutes now and I go, well, Dr. Walsh hasn't even, the professor has not even shown up today. So should I stay? No, probably not. So I, uh, I left and I feel a little guilty even though 
again, the professor wasn't there, so it's not like I have a lot to feel guilty about. I just, uh, I don't know, you pay all this money for school to get this piece of paper and you should, I tried, I guess, and, and that's what matters, the trying, I guess.